Okay guys, so this is what's going on with the drug dealing here and it's big time, it looks like a big time drug exchange. It's happened to me two times. So this is the dock that I fish on. I will pan slowly. Okay, I just got my magnet unstuck from here today. I was here last night and it happened again. This is the second time it's happened. So, a gentleman comes here and is watching me, questioning what I'm doing and hanging out for a while watching me. And I'm magnet fishing and he's not threatening. And he's sort of jumber, uh, timber, uh, what do I want to call it? lumberjack like looking and he's very friendly and stuff like that he watches me magnet fish for a while and then while he's there i notice see where that guy is over in the blue jacket can you see way over there yeah two guys come and stand over there and they watch me the whole time this is going on and it goes on for a few hours okay he just turned away because he knows i just got him okay and then on this road here's a very busy road but there's a couple outlets and the guys uh have people stationed there and that's one of the only ways the police can get in here um they have them stationed over where those other guys are over there is entrances too and i've just noticed this on the other side of these woods is entrances in the neighborhood and they have people stationed there and over on other corners because i was driving out and i saw them and now i'm starting to put it all together now i'll continue on and i'll be back with you in a second okay so i'm on my way back to the car now and there's a guy sitting right here. He was pretty friendly to me both times now. There's been two different guys. And they've both been very friendly to me. But you know, I don't know, it's just weird. And then over there, um, there's a couple guys and you can even see a couple guys at that fork. And then up over there on that road is a couple guys. Okay, the car, I'm trying to do it slow guys. I know it makes you dizzy car's still that way. Now we're down at the parking lot and there was a guy here and a couple over there and then you could see some at the road. You could see some at the road up there. I want to show you the other part but there's a mom with her two kids leaving so we'll wait till they leave. My cars are always parked over there and on this side of my this side of my car was a truck. I'll get where all okay, the guys So were. in this part of the parking lot was where everybody was. There was about nine cars they were all backed in parking they were exchanging stuff their lights were on their engines were running um i walked down here because i got my magnet stuck and i wanted to go over to my car and get my other come along because i broke one okay i was walking back here and i got about up to where the bathroom was and this one car pulled out really fast rolled down his window and said to me hey you hey you come here and I looked at him, said a few choice words, told him to mind his own business, and hell no, did I look stupid anyway? This is a carrying state. And I kind of moved my bag around in front of me and started opening it up. He quickly rolled up the window and moved away. Okay? But there was a lot of guys out here in cars, very, a lot of people in the cars, and they're exchanging drugs. And it's a big drug drop off. And I'm just amazed. This is not number one time I've been in the middle of this. I didn't get what was going on. I knew something was going on before. This is number two time that I am in the middle of this. Okay? Not safe here, folks. Do not come here. And we're talking about 2.30 to 4, 5 o'clock in the afternoon. Okay? We're not talking about midnight. We're not talking about 10 o'clock at night. We're not talking about 9 o'clock at night. We're talking about those hours just before it comes dark. And I am amazed that this is going on. But as I was driving out, I noticed that there were still people around on different corners. And they're watching out. The police gets near this area. All these guys are just going to drive out like normal. It has to stop. Okay? I just gave somebody a lecture on this. It takes one good person to decide to do nothing to let the evil prevail. And I will not let the evil prevail. Now, I know my name is on the back of my car. Grandma Kelly's Clean Life, Clean Living. It's parked there. It's been parked there now as of today five times. It's not, I'm not too far away from here. They know it. Okay? But I am not going to tolerate that. I am not going to tolerate that in this park. Not in any of our parks. And guys, if for some reason you watch this, this video, get the hell out of my park. Okay? Because this is going to YouTube, this is going to be seen by everybody, and it's just a matter of time before I should decide to make a stop at the Linwood Police Department and share it with them. In fact, when I get this up and loaded, I might just go by and share it with them. So get the hell out of my park. Okay, this is Grandma Kelly saying, see you, love you, bye, have a great day, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's, all that.